Hey everyone, Mr. Regan here, and today we're looking at our sim question number one. Which of the three objects experienced the weakest force when it was hit? We have object B. Each of our objects is shown here with a velocity before they're hit and shown here with a velocity after they're hit. On the right hand side, we got some velocity data to help us decide which one experienced the weakest force. So, looking at object A here, it started with a velocity of one going to the right. And then after the hit, it had a velocity of negative two changed by negative three. B has a velocity of three going to the right. And then after it was hit, it was uh, had a velocity of zero. So it changed by three. And then object C here had a velocity of five. And then if you notice here, after it was hit, it had a velocity of four changed by one. So looking at our objects before and after they were hit, looking at our velocity table, Take a second to decide, was it object A, B, or C that experienced the weakest force? Select your answer, pause the video, and restart it to go over the answer. All right, do we think we got it? Let's take a look. When we look at each of these objects, we will know that each one is the same object, just different letters, and we see that each of them had a starting velocity that changed. Each one changed by a different amount. Even though the changes were a little different, the amount of changes were very similar. That being said, we know that a stronger force can cause a greater change. So a weaker force would cause a weaker change in velocity. So we need to look at which one had the weakest or lowest change in its overall velocity. So if we're looking at this, we see that A and B changed by three and C changed by one. So when looking at a weaker force causing a weaker change, Object C went from five to four and had the smallest change in velocity. So a weaker force must have caused this smaller change versus the other two, which had a change of three. So these two had a greater or a stronger force that caused a greater change than object C. So the correct answer is object C. If you got it right, congrats. If not, go ahead and fix your answers. If you have questions, reach out. Otherwise, good luck with the rest of the question.